Hi everyone, I'm Ghost Masala and welcome back to the channel where we talk about all things Red Bull, Salzburg, Leipzig and all the other Red Bull clubs. So yes, this channel is going to be all about Red Bull football clubs content from now on because that's what I'm interested in at the moment. I might change my channel name to reflect that, what do you guys think? But yeah, there'll also be a comment as to why I've been gone for such a long time and all the stuff about what's happening to certain series and things like that. But yes, today we're talking about a very interesting topic. I'll get so many things I want to talk about because it's been such a long time since I've made videos. But yes, today we're talking about the Zambian playmaker, midfielder, all-round star, Enoch Mwepu. And will he be going to Tottenham Hotspur? And is he good enough for Tottenham Hotspur as well? And now, if you had asked me this question a year ago, I probably would have said no. But my opinion on him has changed big time and here's why I think he could be a good option. But could it be the best move for him? I'm not sure. And Wepu is going to be brought in as a sort of a Sissoko midfield replacement. Um, you know, Tottenham have kind of struggled in midfield a little bit. They've got Hoiberg, who's really, really good, but they need someone to play alongside him. And, you know, Lo Celso is fairly injury prone and he's not been that good, which surprised me because he was pretty good at Real Betis, but that's not really the point. So, and Wepu is a very different sort of player to Soko and Lo Celso. He's not really a super strong or tall player, he's only six foot, which is tall enough for a midfielder, but he's not a defensive really midfielder. He's well, His nickname is, is The Computer, and I think that sort of gives you an idea of what sort of player he is. He's a very sort of dynamic midfielder, very good at passing, you know, and dribbling are his strong points. He can, he's not really a goal scoring midfielder that much. He's not like a Lampard or someone like that, but he can score goals. You know, he does provide that attacking option while also being kind of solid in defence, even though he was a sort of in last in Salzburg Champions um, League run last year he was kind of a weak point in the team but he's really started to come back and shown that he is a really good player he's really improved uh, he won the Salzburg's player of the month for December which really shows that he's starting to become a, a really dependable part of the Salzburg team we've seen in the past you know Salzburg players don't actually have to be first team regulars to get a move away neither Huang or Minamino were first team regulars at Salzburg and Mwepu is a first team regular so I think that just shows how good he is even though of course there is less competition in the midfield positions although Mwepu did extend his contract relatively recently back in 2019 I think he'll probably have quite a cheap release clause. I don't see him being sold for any more than 15 million, so he could be a cheap option. Uh, but of course, Spurs are also looking at players like Marcel Sabitzer, and comparing Sabitzer to Mwepu is a massive difference. Of course, as Sabitzer is a better player, he will cost a lot more, and Mwepu is four or five years younger than Sabitzer as well, so he could be one for the future. Um, and they are sort of similar players and Wepu does lack the shot power and shooting that Sahitsa has um, and also maybe some of the defensive capability as well but with in time with potential he could definitely become as good at Savit as good as Sabitzer. Whether he will do is another question and whether he will do at Spurs is also another important question. We've seen with players like Huang and Minamino who've moved to big clubs is that they just don't get enough game time to be able to sort of cement themselves and to keep improving although of course both of these players were quite a bit older than Mwepu when they did leave Salzburg but the same thing happened with players like Hannes Wolf when Wolf moved to Leipzig he just couldn't break into the team he did get a long-term injury as well but it did not go well for him so Mwepu needs to be careful but I think this could be a good move for him I don't know if House I don't know how much Spurs want him, but if he d goes, it could be a very good move for him because in that sort of midfield position, I reckon he will get a fair bit of game time, but I'm still not convinced he's good enough for the Premier League yet. He might be a late developer, but of course, um, the positives are um, he is an established international already, he played a lot of times for Zambia. But yeah, I'm not sure if Spurs will want him and he might struggle there. I don't think he's good enough yet, but it'll be interesting to see what happens. And what do you guys think? Do you think Mwepu should go to Spurs? Leave a comment and yeah, um, I'm back. Make sure to leave suggestions about videos I could do about Red Bull. Um, I've, as I said, left, I've, as I said, I've left a comment, you know, detailing what's happened to my other series, why I'm not doing them anymore. But yeah, um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed and yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.